What's going on guys? It's Omni York and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about two of the best assault rifles in Call of Duty World War II. Much like my last video, we're going to be talking about these two assault rifles and I'm going to give you guys complete class setups and give you my tips and tricks on how to make these guns work the best for you in a complete class. Now the one thing that I hate about when a brand new Call of Duty comes out is you can go on YouTube and you can type in best gun in Call of Duty, blah, 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 whatever it is that year. And there's a ton of videos that come up. And the problem is either a, they're recommending a gun that is not the best gun in Call of Duty, but the game's been out for 45 minutes. There's no way that you could possibly know which gun is the best because you couldn't have played with all of them on every map. And they just wanted to post a video to get the clicks and be the first to be up there. Or B it's someone making an exact copy of somebody else's video with the exact same recommendations and the exact same guns and the exact same information. Uh, and that is just pointless to me I, it's just clickbait garbage so I wanted to take a couple of days to make this you know assault rifle video because I wanted to play around with some of the different assault rifles I wanted to try out a couple of different classes that other youtubers uh, have made uh, or have suggested and I want to basically give you my tips and tricks on these guns specifically that might differ from your favorite youtuber now one gun that I feel like is being completely overlooked in the assault rifle category is the STG 44 uh, and when I mean overlooked I mean nobody on YouTube is saying that this is one of the best assault rifles but I see everybody using it in t team deathmatch I'm not even kidding I'd say at least half of the time when I die it's to the SD STG 44 and maybe that's because it's the first fully automatic assault rifle that you unlock because you start with the the standard gun and then you get I think the M1 Grand and then you get the STG 44 so maybe people are just super excited to try out a different fully automatic assault rifle and this is their first you know gun that they can get their hands on which totally makes sense uh, but I find that even at higher levels with other assault rifles unlocked sometimes the STG is just the best go-to gun and I feel like it's the most well-rounded to me it almost feels like the FAMAS from Black Ops 1 but with a little bit more manageable recoil and a little bit longer time to kill while that doesn't sound the greatest uh, it's just a super easy gun that you can pick up and use right away um, unlike the the default M1941 the recoil on this gun is a lot more manageable and I just feel like it's so much easier to use over long range and there's just something about the way that it sounds and just the the animations and everything um, and the reload speed and the fact that it has by default 30 rounds in the magazine compared to the 25 in the M1941 and only 20 bullets in the magazine for the BAR or the bar or whatever you want to call it so with really manageable recoil decent damage decent over long range and a larger than average clip size for Call of Duty World War 2 I feel like the STG 44 is just a super super easy gun to pick up and use and I find like you can use it on most maps and you'll do okay at the worst and with that 30 round magazine it lets you open up the doors to different attachments that you can try out on it uh, and you don't really have to be you know stuck in the box of needing to have extended mags like on different guns such as the bar with that being said uh, I throw on the quick draw and the grip on this gun uh, specifically because I feel like Quick draw is just really important in this game. Um, it's a fast time to kill, and you really need to be able to react. And I feel like quick draw is just something you basically need on every single class, and that kind of sucks, but it just feels like that's the way that this game plays. And the grip is to just really, really hone in that accuracy so that way this gun can not only spray up close with its high rate of fire but really get those long range kills if you really want to burst it. Now the last attachment is up to you, but for me personally, I put on the reflex sight and that's because I just am not a fan of the iron sights with this gun. Uh, but if you're totally cool with the iron sights, then that opens up a couple of different options where you can either do full metal jacket and this is going to let you shoot through different, uh, it's going to let you penetrate through walls. So in this game, I feel like there's a lot of head glitching, a lot of clipping at different angles and stuff. Uh, and you're going to find that, you know, some of your bullets are going to be going through materials materials even if you're aiming at someone's head that's head glitching a spot uh, so if you have this you know attachment equipped it'll actually go through and penetrate those materials even better uh, so even if you're missing your exposed part of your target with FMJ you're actually gonna go through what they're hiding behind a little bit better uh, and maybe that'll make the difference between actually killing them or not otherwise you can throw on a rapid fire on this thing uh, and you can actually just pretty much run and gun with this thing um, you might want to put on steady aim instead of grip if you're gonna do that because you're really not gonna be shooting at too long of a range with rapid fire on anyway 
Uh, so I think it really just depends on your play style, and I think that's where the STG is super versatile uh, because you can use it at those long ranges if you want with the certain attachments, or if you want to run and gun with it, you have that option as well. And that's why I feel like it's just so well rounded that anybody watching this video can pick up the STG and really get accustomed to it in maybe two or three games not even of course I recommended three attachments because normally you're gonna be using the infantry uh, division with this but of course if you want to use something else um, then I would say maybe quick draw and grip are just the best two attachments that you could have and as usual I'm gonna recommend the hustle basic training now you can use primed if you want to decrease the flinch when you're aiming down sights and shooting um, it's that's a super good way to go but for me I feel like if you're running and gunning more than you're really going to want the hustle basic training on there just because you know even with that 30 round magazine I just I'm the type of person who's constantly panic reloading and I feel like it's just really important to be able to reload as fast as possible so you're ready for that next engagement honestly I'm kind of bummed out that you can't put a silencer on an assault rifle in this game because I feel like the STG with a silencer would be like such a, an amazing weapon. Anyway, moving on to my second assault rifle recommendation, uh, and with this, we're also going to be assuming that you're using the infantry division. Uh, and the second recommendation is the bar. Now, I know you guys were probably expecting this because there have been other YouTubers that have been kind of talking about the bar and saying how it's the best gun in the game. Some people are saying it's the FG42. Uh, I really just I don't understand. I feel like the the FG42 hype is is people who you know got the game and they thought the FG42 was really good because it was on the default class and they just were like oh this must be the best gun in the game and it is a great gun and if you really enjoy that gun then you can dominate and that's up to you but I just feel like the STG44 is just a super well-rounded weapon and the bar is just a really really incredible assault rifle that is that is super versatile now with the newest patch they actually did increase I think the either the hip fire spread or the uh, accuracy I'm sorry the recoil for the bar I'm not sure if it was one or the other or both, but it was such a minor uh, nerf that it really didn't do anything. Now, one thing that people have been saying about the bar that's really, really amazing is that its recoil pattern is pretty much straight up. And that seems to be the easiest recoil pattern to kind of uh, adjust to and to handle and manage so you don't really need the grip. But personally, I really, really like the bar with the grip. The grip changes that really long recoil upwards recoil pattern to kind of like a, a small square where it's it's the recoil patterns maybe slightly wider but definitely tighter uh, and I feel like that that is just better for your medium range engagements which honestly if you're kind of like a, a run and gun type of person you're gonna be getting into a ton of medium range engagements with the bar again with that same play style I really recommend quick draw it seems like quick draw is just the one attachment that you need to have on every single weapon in this game whether or not you're using a submachine gun or an assault rifle or whatever the case might be quick draw is just so useful in fast-paced call of duty games like this where the time to kill is just instantaneous so quick draw and grip i feel like are are a must on the bar now the iron sights on this thing are absolutely incredible they're super super easy to use i feel like putting any sort of lens sight or 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 reflex sight anything like that is just a complete waste of a perk uh if you absolutely Absolutely need it then sure go ahead but you really give those iron sights a try because they're super super easy to use there's just a tiny little peg in the middle and that's where your bullets are gonna go it's just it's the probably the best iron sights in the game in my opinion um, and and you really don't need a sight on here so for the third attachment I think extended mags is probably your best bet I've definitely played around with FMJ and I've played around with high caliber as well um, thinking that hey you know with that upward recoil maybe I'll get more headshots and if I get that headshot multiplier I'll start killing people in fewer bullets um, and you know with FMJ I can shoot through surfaces you know stuff like that it doesn't seem like those are worth it so the best third attachment I think is extended mags and that's because this gun actually only has 20 bullets in its magazine out of the package so it seems like you really just need extended mags on there to bump it up to 30 that'll give you a huge advantage when you're entering those you know 1v2 engagements uh, you really don't stand too much of a chance in a one versus two situation with the bar unless you have extended mags or you somehow manage to hit every single shot. Usually with 20 rounds, um, taking into account, you know, just average recoil and, you know, the fact that you're going to miss a couple of shots with 20 rounds, you know, you can probably only kill two people with that amount. 
um, and that's really pushing it you know sometimes I feel like after my first kill I'm left with maybe anywhere between um, 9 and 12 bullets in my clip uh, and maybe my my aim is just shit I don't know uh, maybe you guys are just way better than me but in my average engagements I'm probably using anywhere between you know 8 and 10 bullets which is half the clip size so if you really need to get those two kills you have to make every single bullet count and and that's just a really stressful way to play um, and it's just really relieves that burden if you put the extended mags on there you have an extra 10 rounds um, so if you get that two piece and there's a third person who comes around at least you have a chance um, with the standard clip there's just really no way you're gonna get a three piece with the bar uh, which stinks because it has the stats to do it it has a, a great a kick a great recoil it's got great damage rate of fire accuracy everything like that it's a great gun except for that clip um so if you put extended mags on there it really lets you get more kills uh, and that's just that that's the whole point right now again hustle or primed are definitely the best two basic trainings that you can be putting on the bar in my opinion uh, just because you know if you're always mobile and you're really trying to get those kills you want to reload as fast as possible ready for the next engagement uh, and primed is going to give you the less flinch so it depends on your play style um, you know I think if you're being a little bit more competitive then I would say primed is better because you really don't want that flinch when you're getting into gunfights otherwise hustle is probably perfect um, you know if you're really outsmarting your opponents in just regular pubs then it's probably a lot you know safer to you know just deal with that flinch you know it sucks yeah but it's manageable in my opinion you know I think people are making a huge deal about flinch and you know yeah maybe in the competitive scene it's it's a big deal but as far as just Call of Duty goes we've had flinch in every Call of Duty forever so I don't know why people are complaining about it now I mean it's like they just need something to complain about I don't know but anyway those are my tips for the best two assault rifles now I know everyone's recommending the bar but there was just no way I could make this video without saying that the bar was one of the best so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you gained any sort of knowledge or any sort of tips make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video subscribe to my channel with notification on that way you know the next time I upload uh, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure you comment down below letting me know what your favorite assault rifles are I'd love to hear it I'd love to hear if you like the FG 42 or if you think the STG is garbage or whatever you guys think uh, and that's pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been Omni Arc, and I will talk to you guys again soon peace